Welcome back, and it's collaboration time again. Yeah. These things roll around really fast. They sure do. If you haven't seen one of these, this video is where we put out a video on a topic and we collaborate with some of our other YouTube RV creator friends. And we ask you to watch this video and then pop over to their video and see what they're talking about. We talk about the same subject, put a video out at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, this week, yeah. we have some special guests. Yes, we do. Jason and Jennifer from No Sticks, No Bricks Yay. are joining us on this month's collaboration. So after you get done watching this video, pop over, watch all the other mm -hmm. videos and make sure you give them a little bit of love. Yeah. This month's collaboration, what are we talking about? We are talking about what's in our tow vehicle and how it's all set up on travel day. Yeah, and this is going to be unique. Yes, everybody's different. Everybody does it a little bit different because we have some Class A's in the group. Mm -hmm. We have some travel trailers. travel trailers and some fifth wheels in the group. So everybody's going to be a little bit different on how they pack their tow vehicle or trail vehicle. Yes. Or towed vehicle. Exactly. However, they set their thing. So it'd be interesting to yeah. see what everybody does. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started. Let's go. Are right, we gonna start up front and we're gonna start with the most important thing in the whole tow vehicle. And that's the checklist. You gotta have this man. If we don't have this, I will mess stuff up. I have a brain injury and I have short term memory issues. And if I don't do this, I will miss something and I will break something. And then it will cost me a bunch of money and Leslie will never forget. Nope. Sure <laughs> and I'll hear about it for the rest of my life. Yep. So we got to have the checklist. So what we do is we pr actually print out a hard copy. I know people do a bunch of different ways, but we print it out. We have the dry erase marker and we just mark it off and we don't leave until this thing is completely marked off and we've checked everything. So that's the first thing. Um, sticking in the console, not a whole lot going on here. We have some accessories, camera stuff and things like that. I'm not going to talk about that, but the most important thing we have down here is our first aid kit and our mask. So in case there's an emergency, not just for us, but for anybody, I can grab these and I can go help people out. Uh, we have some phone chargers and stuff like that in there too. Um, we're gonna be talking about a lot of accessories and things that we have in here. If I mention a product, uh, we'll try to leave the links in the description below if you wanna go and look at some of those products. We did a video about our first aid kit. We'll leave a link down in the description too to that video if you wanna go see that and see what kind of kit we got for that. So up here we have our phone holder. We don't use this on our travel day when we are towing because we only use this for when we're traveling unhooked with our Google Maps because we don't trust Google Maps when we're towing. We use our Garmin RV GPS for that. And then we have our Halo View, which is our, our backup camera slash running rear camera. I use it more as like a rear view mirror than I do backing up. I don't use it for backing up at all. I will show you a trick that I use for backing up here in a second. And then we also have our tire pressure monitoring system from TST. That is a must. It lets us know if we have an issue with our tire pressure or the temperature. We had a blowout, it'll alert us so we know to stop so we're not tearing up something on the RV. Over here in the door, I got my little tool that can bust out a window or cut my seat belt in case we run off the road into some water. Leslie doesn't have one, so she has to trust me to help her out if that happens. But, you know, you got to save yourself first. It's like when the oxygen mask comes down on the airplane, you got to put your own mask on first and then help others. What if you're knocked out and I'm not? Well, you're having a hard time getting over to my door to yeah, get this exactly. thing. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe we should get you one for your door, too. And then also, Leslie has an umbrella in her side of the door. Uh, because she's made of sugar and she'll melt if she mm -hmm. gets wet. We also have a dash cam and dash cam is really, really important because if you are in an accident, especially if it's not your fault, you wanna have proof for the insurance company or for the person who hit you's insurance company. Uh, and then if you are the one who caused the accident, you just flick the SIM card out and tell the police that it's, it didn't ever have a SIM card. Uh-huh. <laughs> But we have ran into a situation where it came in handy. Mm -hmm. Leslie got rear-ended. Yep. Let me show you. In case you haven't seen it or you've forgotten, let's just let's just see the replay. Oh Lord. <laughs> travel differently than other people with pets because most people are traveling with a cat or a dog or both we're traveling with a lizard so our requirements are a little bit different and he's spoiled so they're definitely different he needs to sit up high for one thing 
sitting on the seat was a no-go. He will freak out. So we got at Walmart a little pop-up footstool and I can actually keep extra lights and light bulbs in there so it's actually been very handy to have. But he sits on the stool. His cage is just a regular dog cage with the steel um, frame in it that collapses and he has a heat lamp mounted with a zip tie inside, a little micro lamp. It's like 40 watts of power. And then we seatbelt him in, because I don't want him to fly around. So he's very secure. Then put him in, zip him up, turn on his lamp, and he's ready to go. Having the Mega Camp comes in really handy because we don't just put stuff in here that we use on travel day. We actually use this for storage a little bit. Um, so behind the seat, I'm not going to pull everything out of here, but behind the seat we have our air compressor so that we can air up our tires or the RV if we need to. We have our paddles for our kayaks, we have our hiking shoes, we have our disc golf set, we have our pickleball set. And then under the seat is where we keep, when we're not traveling, that's where we keep our GPS, that's where we keep our backup camera monitor, and then we also keep our other cameras like our eyeball and then our eyeball monitor. This helps us back up and get onto the ball of our hitch. I'll show you that here in just a second. But we do use a little bit of this space for storage. We also have a, um, a halo, which is like a jump starter for a truck or a vehicle. So not just for us, but if anybody's having an issue, we have this already charged up. We can jump start somebody's car without having any jumper cables. We have the tri-fold tunnel cover that goes up on travel days. When we're not traveling, we lock that back down to protect everything back here. We're so happy that we got the Gen Y hitch because we used to have the big slider hitch back here, but now our truck bed is freed up a little bit so we can keep a little bit of stuff back here for storage. So we keep our kayaks back here. We have two inflatable kayaks and we have our life vests. So that way we can go kayak in anywhere we want. We can stop anywhere, pop them out, inflate them. We got the pumps back here too. We always keep an extra box of DEF back here. And then I got my cones. My cones back here, that helps me back up. So that's a little tip that I have is when I can't really see where I'm backing up to and uh, I'm at a weird angle, Leslie will go and take those those orange road cones and she'll put them back there uh, on the site where she wants the back of the RV to be. And then I just kind of keep those orange cones in my mirrors as I'm backing up. And it's helped me a lot because I am not good at backing in. We also keep our generator back here. Uh, we used to keep it in the front of the RV but we open up some space back here, so we keep that back here. And it, it, it helps me because I don't have to lift this thing in and out of the RV. I can just roll this thing to the edge of the tailgate, back the truck up close enough to the RV to where I can hook up the generator, I run it for as long as I need to, unhook it, and then I just push it back up here and then I ratchet strap it back down for travel days. We also have our eyeball system. So this that's this camera here. And what this does is I put this back here and then I, I have this ball and rod so it helps me line up the ball for the Gen Y hitch on travel day. There's also a little monitor that plugs into the front of the truck. So I can actually see on the monitor through this camera that I'm lined up with this rod, I'm lined up with this ball, and I'm lined up with the red line that I have taped onto the Gen Y hitch. And when it's all lined up, Leslie just backs me up until I'm parallel with the ball. And then she lowers the trailer onto the ball. And it's way easier than trying to just eyeball it and figure it out on your own. The other thing that we have to consider, mm -hmm. because we travel with a lizard and he is not potty trained, so he could go whenever. And sometimes if it's a longer travel day and he's shaken. He, he's been known to go on travel day. It'll shake some things loose yeah. <laughs> and he'll let one go. And yeah. I'm telling you what, it is wretched. Oh, it smells like death. Oh, yeah. it's bad. Yeah. So Leslie always keeps like a Ziploc bag with like some paper towels, some baby wipes. And that way she can clean it up, put yeah. it back in the Ziploc bag. Because why don't you put it in the Ziploc bag? It smells gone. It's gone completely. It is. So he has a side pouch on his carrier case. And I just keep napkins. I have the handy wipes in the door and the Ziploc bag. So when he goes, I can wipe it up. Which, his bed's removable in there too. So he will typically go on that bed, obviously. So I can at least wipe it up and wipe him up bag it, tag it, <laughs> yeah. and then pull his bed out. And then he's got just the the bed that came with the carrier yeah. to sit on now. But you'll know exactly what happens because you'll be driving along and be like, huh, huh. oh, it's happening. Uh, uh, it's get it. <coughs> oh, get it. You almost swerved <laughs> once off the road because it took you by surprise. <laughs> 
Well, that's it. That's how we set up our tow vehicle. Yeah. Nothing fancy. No. Nope. We don't get too glamorous. We no, we don't have too many gadgets. Well, I don't want a bunch of stuff. No. In the way. No, that's overkill, I think. And then also, you know, in the event that something happens, you get into a wreck or something, you don't want a bunch of stuff flying around. No, the projectiles. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's dangerous alone. So we try to keep it to a minimum. And plus, we are also paying attention to our payload and how much stuff we're actually putting in the truck, too. Yes. So we don't want to mess that up. Yeah. So after you watch this video, make sure you pop over and see what everybody else in the collaboration is doing yeah. with their tow vehicle. I'm excited to see. I am, how, too. How similar, how different. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave a link down in the description if you want to watch all those. We'll also leave a link down in the description to all those other channels. You want to pop over and check out their channel and stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.